Uh, well, uh, I think it will be a similar score to the one who was on uh, on Saturday at Liverpool. So no fresh injuries from, from that game? No. Um, your team are going to have to pull off something quite special tomorrow night. How do you want them to approach this game? Well, uh, the only advantage of our situation is that uh, we have not much choice uh, to have any hesitation. We have, of course, to go for it and to attack and uh, take, uh, go forward with determination and flow and uh, and try to score goals. And just one for Pep as well. I know you've spoken about owing the fans a performance tomorrow night. What's your message to them ahead of the game? I think it's. It's up to us to show a different face tomorrow. That is really something we are going to demand because uh, we literally blew it away in the second half there and um, being in a very good position. So it's really down to us now um, to make the first step, um, to make our fans proud of ourselves again. That is really something we need to em the emphasis on. I am not aware. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Has Alexis Sanchez's attitude been what you expect it to be? No, I explained after the game uh, at Liverpool that I decided to go for a more direct option in the game, and uh, that's what happened. That was the unique reason for my decision, you know, and. Uh, for the rest, uh, his attitude is uh, he's a committed player, and uh, sometimes his excessive uh, behaviours. But you had that too many times in in the history uh, in every squad. The reason I ask, there has been a lot of media coverage about this story in the last 24 hours. Are you saying that it's completely false? Com up? Yes, completely false. But. Uh, uh, I understand that you have to fill the newspapers and uh, we respect that and uh, uh, when you don't win the games it's not always down to uh, to real stories and uh, we have to accept that, you know. Can I ask you what your relationship is like with Sanchez at the moment? Honest and, uh, and normal, like uh, with every single player. Some Arsenal fans will think it may be a precursor for Sanchez's exit in the summer. What's your gut feeling? Will you be here next season? I, uh, Alexis Sanchez has 15 months on his contract, so the decision will he be here or not will depend completely on Arsenal Football Club, not on uh, anybody else. Uh, if I could just ask you a question as well. What's your relationship like with Sanchez and what are the, the relationship like with Sanchez and the rest of the players? Um, I don't understand the question, honestly, I don't, because I've got, uh, we've got every single day we come in, try to train, we've got, he has got a lot of options now, you know, it's about, you know, we, he has got 25 options now, you know, so it's very difficult for him to decide who's, who's in the squad, who's playing, and my, um, I approach every training that everyone wants to push, really. To get that starting spot, you know, to be in a lineup, you know, and it's about chances and taking chances. Is is it not about individual players? And that is this club about. It's not going to be about one single player and um, all these questions about one player is very destructive to our team, you know. And what's about uh, tomorrow? We have got a, f a game to face tomorrow, which is really important to to our team and not to one individual player. Ben, let me ask you about the manager because he's been taking. <coughs> I think we saw on a lot of occasions, you know, that we were absolutely not ready for a fight, you know, and that's what I wanted to see tomorrow, that we are up for a fight, you know, to challenge something. We haven't competed a, a lot, you know, like in recent games, you know, and we need to turn that around. That is, a, that is really the focus, you know, to come back to um, our strength and um, 
One thing about the Liverpool game, you know, there were 11 players on the pitch. We had the real chance, you know, to go for it, to push it. And even without our best player on the pitch, you know, to show that we are a real unit and that we have to, uh, we have to execute that, you know. It's not always the manager has got... Uh, it's hard for him now to select, but he does it with his best knowledge, you know, and, and we trust him. Look, uh, I think uh, I think honestly, it's not down to the players to choose a manager, and that your questions are not uh, adjusted to the press conference that is to prepare a game. The players have to perform, and I just pair said that, and the board chooses a manager. And I think uh, uh, I, if I ask you, is everybody in your company behind you? I promise you I find some it's guy you were not happy that you sit here and would like to be in your position, you know. So that's, uh, but it's your, your bosses who choose that you are here or not. And uh, that's why uh, I can understand that when the results are not there that I'm criticized. But it's not down to the players to choose the managers. The players have to perform for this football club. I think we are in the best club in the world and uh, we have to show pride and commitment uh, to defend the pride of his club. It's not about the political. We are not in a political club here. We are in a performance and uh, I have to perform and the players have to perform. But we show on many occasions that we can turn it around and we are happy to play for him, yes. Hi, Arsene. Uh, Pierre said there that on many occasions the players have not been able to fight. Why is that the case? The players are ready to fight but uh, it's always a mixture of... Uh, uh, of a uh, little bit uh, success or a little bit uh, belief, you know, that drops a little bit. I think uh, uh, we live in a world of small margins and uh, if you drop off a little bit, it's on the belief side and uh, uh, on the confidence front, it looks always like you do not want to fight with players. I 100% believe that these players want to do well, they want to win and uh, that uh, we have not... Uh, Football is still a game and uh, where you play only well when you have a belief as well that you can do well. And uh, I, I think at the moment, when you don't win, everybody says always the same, you don't fight enough. Yes, but football is not only fight. It is part of it, but not only. It's as well freedom to, to go for, for it, freedom to play. And it's a mixture of all that that makes, a, a little, makes you a little bit less successful is going wrong each season it seems at this sort of time the sort of late February early March time of the season well I be, I think uh, first of all uh, it's always a very difficult period because you play in the last 16 uh, in the ra last four or five years we have played always against Barcelona or against Bayern Munich we played four times uh, against Bayern Munich, Munich we had the best team uh, or the second best team sometimes in Europe so it's always a difficult period and uh, I, uh, if you look at, uh, at uh, the recent years, we have as well done uh, very well from March until May, you know. Bitte? Ist eine schöne Stadt. Bitte? Oh, die haben, wir haben konstante Performance äh, in, den, in de, den letzten 20 Jahren, haben sie immer eine große Mannschaft gehabt. Äh, seit ich äh, jung bin, damals war Beckenbauer, Müller, äh, Hoeneß zum Beispiel und Dominique äh, schon äh, erfolgreich und deswegen haben sie eine große Konstanz. Ich glaube auch, die haben äh, äh, finanziell äh, dominieren in Deutschland, was nicht der Fall ist hier für uns. Und deswegen ist es auch ein bisschen leichter für, für München, wenn es für uns ist. Deutschland, wir hören es ja hier bei Arsenal, die Chance für zwei Jahre zu verlängern. Warum unterschreiben? Weil für mich, ich habe noch keine Entscheidung gefasst und werde ein bisschen warten, wie wir hier beendigen, wie die Saison läuft. 
Ich bin jetzt 20 Jahre hier, habe, äh, glaube ich, den Verein aufgebaut. Und es ist wichtig, dass wir dann auch äh, immer erfolgreich sind. Und deswegen äh, gebe ich mir ein bisschen Zeit auch. Wann fällt die Entscheidung? Wann fällt die Entscheidung? Weiß ich nicht. Okay, aber Sie haben noch Lust auf Arsenal oder auf Ihren neuen Rausgang? Im Moment ist äh, meine Konzentration und auf das äh, äh, Bayern München Game und deswegen äh, im Moment ist es sehr schwierig für mich darüber zu reden. Look, uh, as Per told you, you know, it's about the team performance, it's not about the individuals. We, we play in a team sport and uh, that's where I believe that uh, the most important is that we focus on our collective. Our game is built on collective expression, you know, and uh, uh, that is uh, the most important, that we focus then on what we think is important and it's not on one individual. And uh, uh, Sanchez played uh, in all the games, and uh, when we didn't perform away from home, we lost as well. You know, we lost at City, we lost at United, we lost at Chelsea, and uh, uh, that's what what I think is the most important: is to focus as a team and perform as a team. But Alex Sanchez has been involved in more goals, more Premier League goals than any other player in, this, in the Premier League. He's a vital cog in your team when he's across the field. Is that something that you can prove? <laughs> yes, I don't deny that, but we're all proven winners, you know. <laughs> Players who play at that level are all proven winners. What is important is that uh, uh, we perform as a team. It's, it's not about... Uh, football is not only about uh, uh, one player. It's much bigger than that. Well, uh, there's nothing a lot, not a lot to add. Everybody wants to win, and uh, just everybody's focus on the team is important, of course. Uh, what's the spirit like in the camp? Is the team hurting at the moment? Is that possible? It's a little bit tense, yeah, but that's normal, you know, when you uh, when you have got a stretch like that. Um, but the team is eager to change something, you know, and that uh, you can feel in every training session that. We want to change something about that situation and that is for me the most important and I need to make sure that we train on a high level and uh, be really focused on the next opponent because uh, it's going to be a tough one um, but as well, um, uh, we're, especially me, I'm telling the players that um, we need to make the first step to get our fans on board again and uh, to be successful again, you know, we need our fans to back us up and um, We've done something wrong in recent games, I can tell you. There's there's always you do something wrong, but this time in the last couple of games even more. So we need to analyze very well and then come back with a stronger performance and learn from mistakes uh, we have done recently. So, um, But the spirit, as I said, is a bit tense, but that's normal in those uh, under those circumstances. I expect a lot from our players, you know, performance-wise. Um, that's what we demand. We wanted to be in the Champions League. We are still in there, so let's go for it. You know, we played hard last season to get there, and that was really our chance to get everyone back, um, our fans, to get involved again. You know, uh, to make the season a successful one. So, but it's really down to really focus as much as we can on the next oppo uh, opposition. And last couple of games. Oh, just check about, um, yeah, he's not in the squad. He had only one session yesterday. And he was sick. He was out uh, the whole last week. I don't think he's ready physically to be in the squad. Do you think he'll be okay for the weekend? He should be okay for the weekend, yes. Uh, just in terms of the tie, I mean, do you think an early goal might create some nerves in, in the fire? That's uh, the ideal situation, you know, but uh, I think uh, we want to to uh, give ourselves a chance by uh, attacking and by scoring our uh, goals, but 
uh, no matter what happens uh, with as well at stake our pride and the honor to compete uh, really for 90 minutes. I haven't decided yet, uh, so we will have to come to the game, certainly you will, and uh, you will see that. I think uh, uh, I'll make my decision tomorrow morning. What does it mean, uh, the definition of what is a, ha a happy person is very difficult. I never found an ideal situation. I think a, a happy person is a, on the football front, is a player who comes out of a football game, has won the game and has performed well. So I hope he will be very happy tomorrow night. Look, uh, let's not uh, project ourselves too far, you know. I, I think uh, short-term happiness is easier to get than long-term happiness. And uh, let's just focus on short-term. Thank you very much. Yeah.